Why not pay her a visit? I may do just that. It's nice to stay in touch with my dear niece every now and then. Of course, I'm also delighted that I was able to speak with my nephew as well. Whether through marriage or otherwise, family is family after all. Of course. The feeling is mutual. Professor, if you were watching, you should have made your presence known. That was Lord Arendelle, the regent for the Empire. He is also Edelgard's uncle. In a sense, we have spoken on several occasions, albeit many years ago. My stepmother was his younger sister. We are not related by blood, but he is technically my uncle. Yes. My stepmother was Edelgard's birth mother. Edelgard and I are siblings by marriage. We can delve into that topic another time. For now, let's make preparations to investigate what's happening in that village. Oh dear, the princess of the empire and the kingdom's prince are kin. How very odd. All beings are attached somehow to those who are their family. Yes, even I. I must have had a family too. I wish I could remember them. My family. I wonder who and where they are, and what they're doing now. In any case, about this Arendelle. You've heard that name before, correct? Quite true. We came across that name within the library, right where the prince had been. I thought that Arendelle had died. And yet, not so. He seems alive and well. I wonder what the prince had hoped to learn from reading of his uncle's charity. So many things the prince has yet to tell. How bothersome. I'll let you take the lead. Very well. You shall have my help for what little that is worth. We have succeeded handily. I'm really getting the hang of this. This isn't so hard. I'm certain I've improved. I've grasped it! How lovely! Sir? Hi. Do you have time for a request? <sighs> Professor, I can offer nothing more than this. I am in your debt, Professor. Professor, I've been watching your class activities, and I wondered if you might desire my help. Just say the word, and I'll pitch in. Of course, I have to be truthful. It's all just a ploy to make it easier to research your crest. Feel free to call on me anytime. I'll be happy to lend a hand. 
And then you can help out with my class, too. <laughs> it's a joke, Professor. I'd never put a burden on you, a first-year teacher. You know, Professor, the tournament fish and the meal we indulged in after the battle of the eagle and lion? Why, all of the food I've eaten in this monastery has been absolutely delectable. Every last bite of it. <laughs> food really is the only thing you think about, huh? <laughs> Hardly. I think about all sorts of things. Oh, like tomorrow's menu, for instance? I have a request. I could use your help. Hey. Hey, wait a minute, please. Could you let me have that? Here, I'll give you this. And Fantastic. Thanks, Professor. You have no idea how happy. Hello, Professor. I know that look in your eye. You want to ask me a favor. You want me to help out with your class, right? You just say the word, and I'll help however I can. Don't worry about it. You're just starting out as a teacher, right? It's only natural for those of us with more experience to help the younger generation. <laughs> What? Mm hmm. I'm in the middle of my daily duties. I assume you know by now that the Four Saints are all important figures in the teachings of Seros. Still, I have a particular fondness for Saint Sethleen. I have something to ask of you. still have much to learn. Hey, uh, Professor, I picked this up, but... Oh, hey, it worked out perfectly. 
Want to trade me what you're holding for it? Thanks, Professor. This is great. Professor, do you ever wish you could return to your life as a mercenary? I thought you might. Traveling the world, just you and Gerald. How lovely it must have been. It was in Wilmire that you first met Alois and the rest of his order, was it not? Half a year has come and gone since then. How quickly time passes. I appreciate this. Impressive. Thanks. Uh. Hello, Professor. What's that you've got there? Would you mind trading it with me for this? Oh, thank you so much. I'll be sure to take great care of it. Well, um, Professor, it's about that thing you have there. If it's not too much of a bother, would you trade it for this? Thank you so much. I'll treasure it forever. That's a nice thing you have there, Professor. Don't suppose you're planning on using it yourself. Why don't you trade it for this? Sounds good, right? Excellent doing business with you, Professor. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. years since I started here, this is certainly the busiest. It was four. I've been here five. Ah, what's a year here or there? Don't be petty now, Shamir. You count your enemies the same way. If I take care of them quickly, what does it matter how many there are? Oh, sorry. We didn't mean to ignore you, Professor. As you were saying, it's been a busy year. There never seemed to be enough hands for the work. That reminds me. Do you have that thing? If you do, we want it. Want? No, we need it. Give it to me, not her. Hey now, I'm the one who brought it up. We may be friends, but that's just rude. I have a favor to ask. You brought it, Professor? Hand it over, and I'll make it worth your while. How? You can't even afford your own drinks. Give it here. You won't regret it. Excuse me? I asked first. Why don't we let the professor decide? Uh, 
Seems the professor likes you better than me. Thanks. Here's your prize. Maybe I'll let you borrow it later, Shamir. Of the four or five years since I started here, this is certainly the busiest. It was four. Ah, you count your... If I take care... As you were saying. Hey, you. Do me a favor. I knew I could count on you. No. Hey, Professor. How's it going? I'd love to catch up, but... Hey, how about a favor? Maybe... Hey! I like this. That looks appetizing. Today's dish was so good. Oh, but not as good as your homemade sweets, Mercy. <laughs> You're too kind. Maybe I'll bake some for you next time, Professor. I think I like this, but it's been a while, so I'm not sure. Yummy! Who made this? I'll have to give my compliments to the chef. Wow, this is all kinds of tasty. My favorite meal at my favorite cost. Free. Gotta love this place. I've been craving. Oh, this is one of my favorites. How did you know? Okay. Professor. Huh. Well done. You have my thanks. I'm getting somewhere. Thanks for your time. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. This could be useful. 
This could be useful. This could be useful. Maybe. today. Accept as much praise as you're willing to offer. <laughs> My efforts bear fruit at last. My efforts bear fruit at last. Thanks for taking the time. Ah, there you are. Can we talk? I need a favor, and you strike me as the charitable type. Touchy, touchy. I'll get right to it. I need some gold. Care to help a fellow out? Hard times all around, then. Well, it was worth a shot. I guess that debt collector traveled all the way to Garrick Mock for nothing. If I were you, I'd feel bad about leaving the poor guy hanging like that, but it is what it is. No, it's a lose-lose. I owe the church, too. That means any work I do here, they take a cut. The only way to escape my financial burden is to get clear out of Fodland. Oh, I had... Didn't mean to bring you down. No, it's just joking, yeah? We all have to decide where we belong and then fight for it. Can't let your wallet control your fate. If money was all I cared about, I never would have walked away from inheriting a baron's house. Uh, it's nothing. It was a minor house in the east of the Alliance. I like to say I stepped aside for the good of the house. Has a nicer ring to it than saying I just wasn't cut out for the gig. Or that I lacked the right temperament. My distinguished little bro took my place. Fact is, he's a much better man for the job. Don't go feeling sorry for me now. I didn't mind one bit. Truth is, I'd have been miserable in that life. Having that title is nothing but fuss. Fuss is the worst. This way of life suits me much better. And you? You showing up at Garrick Mock was a coincidence wrapped in happenstance. Your pops was a renowned mercenary leader. 
It can be safely assumed you'll follow in his footsteps. But don't you ever feel like that life was decided for you? I know, and I suggest you start choosing your fate instead of just letting it happen. Why keep breathing if your life isn't your own, yeah? Well, there's a decided lack of gold here, so I'll be off now. You think on what I said. We have succeeded handily. That worked out well. It seems I've improved. It's raining, Professor. On rainy days, the wound I got from the Death Knight hurts like fire. Every time it aches, I get angry. You understand, yeah? I'm sure they have their reasons to kidnap Flame, but still... Did they really need to stab me? What'd I have to do with it? They ruined my beautiful porcelain skin. Worse, they took off before I could stab them back. So rude. That's rather enough, Manuela. Cease your moaning and give the professor a break. Oh, stuff it, Hanneman. Unlike you, the professor has a big heart and listens to me talk about any problem I have. More likely, your incessant ramblings offer no chance to interrupt. Is that true, professor? I knew it! You listen to me because you care about me, don't you? Ugh, go away, Hanneman. Leave us alone. And stop making me shout. It causes the old wound to hurt again. Then perhaps you'd best stay quiet. Keep your emotions in check, I'd say. Don't worry, Professor. We do this all the time. Indeed. Manuela and I do not mix well. Been true for years. That said, if it were up to me, I would prefer speaking to her in a calmer manner. It's not like I enjoy bickering with you. So maybe keep your mouth shut more often. I state that which needs to be heard. For example... I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Same, same. Apologies. I am here because I have new information on the Death Knight's hiding place. What? Really? You could have started with that. Several students have reported possible sightings on the western edge of the sealed forest. While the authenticity of these reports has yet to be verified, it is still a very real possibility. I was thinking I would report this to Seth as a precaution. What? Why? We can't be slow. He's going to get away. Protocol on this matter requires reporting to Seder, then Lady Rhea, then... Professor, let's leave this old geezer behind and get going. Old geezer? I am barely 15 years your senior. I will not hear such... Stop talking. Let's gather a team and get going. <laughs> I'll go scout ahead. I'm coming for you, Death Knight. Manuela, wait. It would not do to get yourself killed without someone to avenge you.
Manuela's in a tough spot, Professor. Even if she's only got herself to blame, we cannot abandon her. <laughs> we have plenty of visitors today. Let's stop their annoying rescue attempt. Now that is a woman. Uh-oh. They've noticed me. Here they come. Stay focused. The sun. I won? That can't be right. Baby steps, I guess. That's my cue. My turn. Who, me? I'll cut through. Let's take them out. next. May my foes someday forgive me. Watch and learn. Each battle a chance to grow. to their demise. Right. 
a bunch of meddlesome losers. Maybe we should take a hostage for capture that woman. We'll show them what... Death God Gang? What kind of child...